Hey guys, Gojo here. I am back with another World of Tanks replay, and today we have the pleasure of watching Be Seeing You in the M4 A1 Ravioli, the tier 8 premium medium French tank. Uh, he's on Overlord, and it's not bad matchmaking. Um, I don't think the Rev gets preferential. So yeah, it's not a bad matchup, only five tier nines? Is it five? Yep, five, five and ten. Um Zooming in a bit now, hopefully that won't be too distracting. Um well, let's make that map a little bit bigger. There we go, now we can see what's going on. And Well, I was gonna say the interesting thing about Overlord is you get uh, you get people doing all kinds of things, going to stupid places in tanks they really shouldn't be going to places in, and um, oh, oh, a lovely shot into the black bulldog there, and he manages to bounce one from him as well on his turret. I believe that was his turret anyway. Oh, yeah, just right on the mountain. Um, yeah, it's a nice gun on this uh, ravioli, 105 millimeter, with 390 average and 200 pen. And wow, that scorpion just got obliterated. Um, looking for a shot on the T54. No, he's backing up. Like I was saying, um, teams doing weird things. If you look at BC News team, well, they decided it was time to go. <coughs> On a beach holiday, excuse me. And ignore that voice crack as well. Uh, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they've not faced anything, so... They can push round and into the TDs that are attacking. Uh, the TDs are attacking, the TDs that are defending. Uh, puts a lovely shot there, but also gets tagged by the Type 4 Heavy in the side. Only for 405, and it was with AP, so I think that Type 4's got the... Uh, I was going to say the little gun, but the smaller gun. Um, be seeing you. It's looking at the ISM here. He did have a shot on that T54, and the T54 did try to fire back, but hit the ground. Looking at this S1 here. He's deployed his crutches, and. <laughs> he just got evaporated. Uh, be seeing you. Looking for the T54 again. Gets spotted. Uh, that's interesting. This Type 4 might be looking to push. Try and get a shot into him. Yeah, you can see his turret turning there. He's got to be careful here that the T-54 doesn't try and come and get him. Yo-ho, put a nice one into him. Gets a tracking shot into the T-54 and the T-10 takes him out. Uh, so that WZ-111114, the T-10 and the Yo-ho are pushing on that ISM. Don't think BC and he's going to get him. Is he going to drop down behind this Type 4? He's going to nudge over the edge to put one into him. It's a bit of a low roll, 3-3-2. Three, three, um. oh, he knows not to fight that game. And there's no ho pushing up around here as well. Who doesn't seem to know that we see any here. But he wanted to take out the WZ. That was a bit unfortunate that it hit the... Uh oh, it didn't hit the... Angle. That's a nice shot into the O there. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, where the turret sort of angles at a point, I thought he'd hit that bit, but he hadn't. The Oho just has a retarded turret. <laughs> um, be seeing you looking to try and track him at least. Well, that's a pen. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Any flat angle on these Japanese super heavies, you should be able to pen with 200 millimeters easy. Uh, the same with the Type 4. If you get on his flat, fat ass, you'll be able to take him out. There you go. Uh, the Egg Tiger 88 has been shooting at him. It's not really been paying attention to him too much because he's not actually hit. Uh, that's fair enough. So the team's going to look to take out the Egg Tiger 88. While I'll be seeing you in the FCM. Look at this T95. The T95 looked up, but be seeing you there. The FCM thinking that was safe to go as the T95 looked back around. Lovely shot into the T95 there. Another low roll. 
That's, uh, that's an interesting one. Now he's got to be careful that he doesn't go too fast, he doesn't drop down. But there you go, there's a there's a roll that makes up for it. FCM tracked the T95, T95 repairs, FCM's now behind him now. Set him on fire, be seeing you. Above average damage roll, takes him out. That is his third kill, he's up to 3.5k damage here. And despite his team, well, most of his team seem to push the beach and uh, have a few people in the middle and not that many people over the other side. Oh, that was an unlucky shot. Hit the gun of the Yag Tiger. Uh, as the Yag Tiger took out the Oho. Oh, that Yag Tiger's firing APCR like a bit of a bitch, to be honest. Uh, RT takes him out there. Nice shot from the RT. Um. Yeah, BC and his team. There were a few people in the middle. He was one. And then most of his team seemed to uh, push the beach. And there were a few TDs coming at the back. And there weren't many people over on the 890 line. And the enemy team had most of their forces over there. And they didn't actually seem to do much. They didn't seem to take out people as quickly as I thought they would. Um, Just looking for a shot on this FV. Nice one into the side of him there. Another low roll. Uh, he has had a few high rolls though, so that's alright. The Ferdinand's going to come over. Takes him out. And it's just this WZ11111114. Uh, who's trying to circle the Ferdy. Be seeing you. That's a dodgy shot with the FV corpse there. Puts one into the side of his turret. That was a lovely shot in the end. In between the hull and the gun of that dead FV. The Ferdinand picked him up. So, that was be seeing you in the M4 Ravioli. Uh, very nice game, actually. Uh, 4,294 damage and 700 assistance. Uh, three kills as well. Um, a tier 9 game. Did quite a bit of heavy lifting. Uh, him and this T10 did well. And... Who else was over here? Oh, that Oho. That Oho did alright as well. Got a few nice shots in on people. Um, but yeah, that was a very nice game from be seeing you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go and look at the post-battle results.